Okay, welcome to this demonstration on how to create sheet metal parts in Inventor. So once you get to the landing page in Inventor, just come up here to File, click on New, and we want to go to New. And going that way gives you the option to select a sheet metal IPT, so just a sheet metal part. So click on that, click on Create. When you do that, you'll get this Sheet Metal tab, and you'll get this Sheet Metal Defaults tab. So go ahead and click on Sheet Metal Defaults. And this is where we set our sheet metal rules. So the default rule is fine. I'll go ahead and click on this pencil. And when I click on that, it'll open up this style editor box. So material, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do something in carbon steel. So let's go ahead and set that to carbon steel. And then I'm gonna change this to match the thickness of my material. So I'm gonna do this out of, let's say 12 gauge. So 0.1046. So I'll just type in there 0 0.1046. And then if you wanted to make any changes to any um, miter edges or rip edges or seam gaps or any bends or the corner reliefs to match your company's parameters, you can do that in here as well. And then once you do that, go ahead and hit save and close. It takes you back to your sheet metal defaults. We'll just hit cancel in here because those other parameters are already saved in here. So now we're ready to create something. So what I'm going to do is I just have this little figure that's made. And so I'm going to use a contour flange to make this. So I just need a simple sketch and it's just three eighths of an inch long. So the way that looks is I first have to start with a sketch. So I'll click on sketch, start 2D sketch. Come in here, I'm going to start on my XY plane. So I will hover over it and click there and then I can start drawing some lines. So I'm gonna start from the origin and I'm gonna to go to the right and I'm just gonna go ahead and type this in. I'm gonna go two inches. So two and hit enter. And when you do that, Inventor goes ahead and adds in the dimension for you. So then I'm gonna go down, looks like about 1.5. I'm gonna come on over. Looks like 1.75. Just move my cursor and go straight up from there. This is going to be three. And from there, I'll go to the left. Looks like two inches. Hit enter. And so you'll see in Inventor, if the line is purple, it means it's fully defined. And I can also look down here and it's telling me that my sketch is currently fully constrained. So I have all the dimensions and all the relations that I need for this particular sketch. If you need some some constraints. They're all up here uh, very similar to other 3D packages such as we have our coincident constraint, we've got our equal constraint, horizontal, vertical, uh, parallel, perpendicular, collinear. So they're all there and um, if you need to add one you can add them like you can in a lot of programs. Uh, click on something, hold down control, click on something else and then choose the constraint out of here. So we've got our sketch fully constrained. So now we can come on over to our sheet metal tab and select contour flange. And that brings up this box along with a preview. So my profile, it's already selected. So I'm ready to go there. I've got my bend radius set to be equal to the thickness of the part. And again, if you need to change that, you can do it under sheet metal defaults. Offset direction, so currently it's adding material to the top side of my sketch. If I wanted to add it to the bottom side, I can flip it. Or if I wanted to add it in the middle, I can do that. So I want to add it to the bottom side. And then the distance is how far it's going to, how much depth it's going to give. So I can orbit this view by holding shift and the wheel on the mouse and spin around. So the two inches is being controlled in that direction. So for me, this was 0.375. And again, I can add it to the front, I can add it to the back of the sketch, or I can split it in between. And I'll go ahead and split it in between. Now everything there looks good. I can go ahead and hit OK. And there is my simple sheet metal part. I can go ahead and save this. And then if I need a flat pattern, I can just go ahead and click on Create Flat Pattern. And Inventor does that for me.
and then I can click on go to folded part and it gives it back. So there's a quick introduction into sheet metal parts for those of you who always wanted to do some sheet metal work in Inventor. So that's all I have to show you today. So thanks for listening and thanks for watching and have a good day. See you.